Now we turn to an interesting uh, well, campaign. We'll hear more about it. I'm joined by Feb Academic, uh, Professor Mamukheti Pageng, uh, Professor of Mathematics and former Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Town. Dumela Oskhit. Dumela, Dr. Ndlozi, how are you? It's really a guy. Thank you so much for inviting me to your show. Yes, indeed. It's always a pleasure uh, to speak to you. So, uh, AI fluency. Absolutely. Absolutely. Can you talk to us about that? Yes. So, let me, let me dig your memory a little bit. Can you imagine a time when you were not fluent in the English language? Mm-hmm. Can you imagine the kind of things that you didn't have access to simply because you were not fluent? And now... It is second nature. You can access a lot of things simply because you are fluent in English. You have access to the social goods that you've always needed, whether it's higher education, whether it's watching a movie, whether it's interacting with people from other cultures, and so on and so forth. Fluency is the power. And today's world is dominated by artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. Not only the tools, the artificial intelligence models that you have, the chat GPTs, the Geminis, the Claws, the Metas, and so on and so forth. Just having those tools is not good enough. Hmm. You need to know how to use them to make yourself more productive. Whether you are a student, whether you are a professional, whether you are a, you are a graduate, unemployed or employed, you can even create your own job. You can work for yourself if you understand AI. Mm-hmm. And that's what we bring into you, a free AI fluency course. And our argument is that without AI fluency, you lose a lot of opportunity. So AI fluency brings to you access that you need. And that's what I'm about. Uh, And this free uh, AI fluency course is free only until the end of this month, which is Thursday. Mm -hmm. Uh, We are on a quest. We are, we are trying to get 100,000 South Africans AI fluent. And, um, and, and anybody, as long as you are literate, you need to be AI fluent. It will help you get a job. It will support you getting promotion. And it, will, it can even help you set up your own business. And here's the thing. AI mm-hmm. is not going to take your job. But someone who uses AI is definitely going to take your job. So wake up. That's what I'm about to do. Okay. And how is it conducted? Maybe firstly, yeah. what is an AI fluent person like? What, what, would be, what will I be like as, it, as an outcome of the course? An AI fluent person knows... Uh, first of all, let me just say, AI fluent is more than just knowing what artificial intelligence is. But it's about being able to collaborate with AI effectively, ethically, and confidently in real-world context. But what's going to enable you to be able to collaborate with AI effectively, ethically, and confidently is the fact that you know the tools that are out there. You know, you understand prompt engineering. You know how to prompt to make sure that you get uh, what you need out of them. But you also know how to assess AI-generated content for accuracy, for bias, and for relevance. You will also understand the privacy, security, and societal impacts of AI. That's what AI fluency, just in a nutshell, that's what it is. Of course, this course is a Microsoft accredited course, and it's offered uh, through the Net Campus Group. But... It, 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 doesn't, it won't only expose you to the tools that are designed by Microsoft. It will also expose you to the other AI tools that come from other providers. And so it will teach you um, how to prompt uh, in a focused manner. It will teach you uh, how to, you know, critical thinking when you're dealing with an AI tool. Uh, it, it's only six hours. You... you um, um, you register and then you get an email in your email box and then the email will welcome you to, uh, to the course and then you decide when you're ready, you decide to start the course uh, at the time when it's convenient to you. And then you decide whether you're going to do the course all at once 
six hours all at once, or maybe you want to do one hour per day, 30 minutes per day, two hours a day on a weekend. At the end of the course, you get an exam. When you pass the exam, you get a Microsoft accredited certificate, which you can use to get access to the social goods or to get ahead of the, of the, of the queue for goodies, opportunities that we all want. And uh, so, in a way, when you say it's free, mm. it means it's going to be not free at some point. It is possible that it will not be free at some point. At the moment, this beginner's course is free. There's, of course, an advanced course, and there will be some people, 50 people, who will be selected uh, to go to the advanced course for free, and they might end up in a career in, in, in AI. Mm. You know, so it is free at the moment. And my, my view is that, you know, you know, uh, and we say that there's a there's a thing about uh, opportunity and ignorance. You know, we all get opportunities and some people choose to take them and some people choose not to take them. Mm. Same with 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 ignorance. Ignorance is a given. Uh, it's your democratic right to remain uh, ignorant. And some people choose to be ignorant, uh, either because uh, they think the system will go away. Uh, and some people choose, I'm not going to be ignorant. I want to know this thing. Uh, even though I don't know how I'm going to use it now, but I want to know because when I know, then I know how I can use it. And then some people fly with it. And I've been saying to students at cross campuses and adults saying, uh, it's your democratic right to be ignorant. And my advice <laughs> to you is take up. Don't, don't choose ignorance. Honestly, so many people choose ignorance. You know, when you have chosen ignorance, and then the opportunity passes by, and then the course is no longer free. Then you start complaining that way. Now, hey, the opportunity didn't reach you, but it reached mm. you. You chose ignorance. And I'm here to say, do not choose ignorance. Choose the opportunity. Do not criticize the opportunity and say, it's not enough. I'm not going to take it until everybody at Mushambu Yalinga has it. Uh, then you are, you are denying yourself an opportunity. Take this opportunity. And then make it your business to make sure that everyone at Nkabu Yalingana gets the opportunity to learn this thing. So that's, that's what we are about. To, to, we are going against ignorance and we are trying to convince people who ordinarily choose ignorance not to do it this time despite the fact that it's their democratic right. There is an MIT study that I, I saw a couple of days ago where they yeah. took about 54 participants uh, in a essay writing session. And um, yeah. some were relying on uh, search engines as well as language models in artificial intelligence. And mm-hmm. then others were basically... Uh, and then they had to produce uh, the the essays. Then they yeah. connected them to an EEG to study, obviously, the brain connectivity and brain patterns. And they yeah. found that people who were relying on um, on uh, on AI had less brain connectivity, and they took time thereafter to improve from less brain activity. But the ones that try to think for themselves. Yeah. Uh, tend to have more brain activity. And they were trying to demonstrate how the technology might affect human populations. They liken yeah. this to when the calculator was introduced as a technology in the past, that the yeah. same sort of fear attained. But over mm-hmm. time, human beings, uh, I guess, adapt. They yeah. know that the calculator must not think for me, that I must mm-hmm. know how to use it but in the process to think for myself. How does the course circumvent that? You know, the course, the course will give you the skills to even be able to critique the content that you get from an AI tool. You see, your, your brain activity becomes less because if, if you just take the content that you, you, you get as the truth and just use it without even critiquing it. In fact, the course... Um, uh, increases your critical thinking, helps you evaluate. Uh, because some people don't know that actually these AI tools have a tendency to hallucinate. And, and sometimes they get things wrong. And, and so if you don't have the skills to critique or to evaluate the content that comes from AI, uh, the AI tool and just use it, of course, you, you, you're not using your brain enough. Uh, but, but, but the course will actually help you, teach you how to do that. Uh, and, and here's the thing, you know, Buiseni, 
where I'm mm. a mathematics teacher. Uh, the, the calculator is not the only thing that did that. The graphing calculator caused even a bigger havoc because then uh, teachers were saying, so which means our children will no longer need to draw graphs because they can press the button, the graphs pop up. Will draw itself. <laughs> exactly. Engineering was disrupted when, in fact, engineering drawing was a big cost in engineering. Mm. But now when, as with the uh, uh, prominence of computers and so on, they can press the button and, and produce a plant without having to draw it manually. And people saying, well, we are no longer teaching engineering, we are now teaching computer science because yeah. they just have to generate. Uh, but what it has done is it has enabled us to do more things faster. And AI will do that as well. We'll do more with less time. And the reason why that's important is that the world of today is much more demanding. Mm. We, say we, we expect more from our municipality managers. We expect more from our teachers, our academics. Because when I send my child to school, I'm not, t- I'm not assuming that there are 50 other kids. Mm. If the, my child is not getting individual attention, I go to the school and complain. But the teachers can't cope. Mental health is an issue. Everything is an issue. But predictive AI mm. helps them to be able to give individualized assistance to every learner to structure learning that can meet the needs of each individual learner without, without having to overextend them to an extent. The resources have gone low. The demands have gone high. AI comes in to assist, to make sure that uh, 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 people, professionals, offer more with less time to more people. I think uh, I can't wait for a time when our municipal office, our municipality officers become AI mm. stewards to an extent that they'll be able, the AI will enable them to see that there's a leaking pipe in zone 16 on street number five, and they go and repair it before water gets wasted and we have a disaster in the street. Mm. You know, AI tools can help us to do that. But because we're dealing with a lack of fluency in AI, even uh, service delivery and productivity is not what it is. And that's why I say AI is not going to take the job. It's the people who are using AI who are going to take your job because they will be much more efficient and much more responsive to, to areas that need attention, whether it's children's learning, whether it's um, a, a, a pothole somewhere or, or leaking pipe or, or whatever service or feedback that they need to give to, to one student in a math, mathematics one class of 1,500. You can't, you can't give each one of them feedback, but AI can help you do that. Professor Mamocheti Paking. Thanks very much and uh, all let the best. You, let me give you the, the, okay. the, the cell phone because I can't give you, I mean, I'm sure on your, on your uh, thing you can put the QR code, but people might want to know, so how do I register? Um, you can call this number, send a WhatsApp, don't call, send a WhatsApp, and um, uh, the people will send you a, a, a link or a QR code that you scan and then register for the course for free. 064 068-2586. Okay. Thanks very much, Prof, and all yes. the best. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nguyen. Have a good day.